Hello everybody and welcome back to Pyromancer Commentaries aka Eflix. Today we are going to be commentating over the second longest misadventure. It used to be the longest and held that title for many years until this year, rather last year, the end of last year, Zero Hour. This is Necronomicon Nightmare and joining me is the writer of this episode, The Neverending Twilight. Yay, this episode is crap! As well as the arguable main star of the episode, the little squirrel, Bella, I mean Shugo. Hey yo, my name is Suga. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of time, so let's just get started on this video post haste, shall we? Yes, and welcome to any of Inverted Shadows fans who joined us after he decided to advertise for us. Yay, thank you, Shadow. Hooray for the Shadow Man. Now let us begin yes. the commentating man. Yay! Okay, on three. One, two, three! And as always, you might want to lower down the volume of the video so you can hear each other speak better, you know, just a bit of advice. Yeah, I forgot to do that, but I, I fixed it now. Yay! Okie dokie! <laughs> Here we see the spooky growing red eyes. I think this was actually shortly after the uh, the Halloween update to TF2 that added Merasmus. I think so, yeah. I make the greatest narrator ever! Shut up, Cheesecake! No! Hey, look, you actually managed to hurt Cheesecake for once. Well, you can hurt him, but you can't really kill him. As the latest episode has shown... Apparently bullets don't affect him, though. Just slapping him does. Yeah, yeah, he's Deadpool. Apparently. Yes, this is supposed to be a loose parody or homage to the Evil Dead series, as TNT has detailed. Yes. Ha <laughs> Cheesecake got smacked again! Yes, this- and yes, as I said earlier, this video is the second longest misadventure. It's 20 minutes, 20 seconds long, surpassed only by Zero Hour. And the thing is, I animated the whole thing by myself, but looking back on it, it's nowhere near as good as it could be done nowadays. Am I saying that my skills have improved since then? Oh god, why oh am I giving god. myself props? Well, it is true. It is accurate. You have gotten way better, too. I mean, looking the methods, the lip sync is terrible. There's no tweening. There's no bouncing. There's no actual movement. Everyone's moving around like a freaking animatronic. Wait, I think this was actually before we discovered the stop motion helper. Well, yeah, that's true. Before it was released, but still looking back. Oh, peeking. Oh, this is my favorite part right here. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing, he was surrounded by a bunch of bottles and one can of bonk. Uh, it was the bonk that got him drunk. <laughs> what? Yeah, the soda got him drunk. <laughs> I... What? How? Oh, look! My favorite show! Blank Screen and the Blank Blankers! In this episode, Captain Blank fights the Blank Man! Ah, uh, that's uh, not the children. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> It's rated R for a reason in. Yeah, I can tell. It it's That's not even a word. word! A lot of things he says aren't words. Yeah, is anybody noticing how, like, light teleports to the top as a joke at the same <laughs> position as Ellie and Mellow? Yeah. I thought that, well, let's just make it funny. Oh, well, there's blank, me! Blanking, blank, blanks. Stop reading that And here we're introduced to the, to the main star of this episode, Shugo. It's Shugo! Yeah, flashback to a familiar feeling. Yeah, those who saw the after credits. <laughs> Why did you have to bring that up? <laughs> the after credits, it was showing the Necronomicon all scary like, which leads to the event of this. So, yes. Yes. And, yeah, but, and you, can clearly, you can clearly see, even though, it's black and, even though it's black and white, you can tell the difference of Shugo's helmet. It was dark blue, now it's the proper light blue matching the stripes on his body. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so you can tell in this episode I did a lot of cheats and cuts around to avoid lip syncing as much as possible. See, originally there was even more of it. Ellie gave me advice on how to make more lip syncing without being terrible. 
there's still a lot of cheating around, but a lot- Thankfully, I've grown out of that nowadays, thanks to learning how to properly lip-sync. So, if this was made nowadays, there would be a lot more visible lip-syncing. Also, that line a moment ago with the Necronomicon, it was supposed to say something about buying more blood and maple syrup, but the blood part was cut out and just said, buy more no, maple syrup. <laughs> Yeah, the line was, buy more maple syrup and blood. But I'm like, it's funny if it just says maple syrup. <laughs> but that, the funny thing is, that was the line you wrote, so it's like... I, you I know, but, the, but, the, but then I realized, wait, no, maple syrup is funnier. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure... Okay, if I remember correctly, the cipher at the bottom right says, if you can read this, you've watched too much Gravity Falls. <laughs> I, I'm, I swear my grave, that's what it says. Say woo! Uh, on the bottom right of that, on that shot, it has a, it's a cipher. If you translate it, it says, if you can read this, you've watched too much Gravity Falls. Someone's gonna double check that, and it's yeah, going to turn hey, out to be completely wrong. Either way, go ahead, viewers, all of our 500 plus more subscribers we got over the past week or two, go ahead, decipher it. Yes. Uh, gotta love the old primitive of shaky, shaky effects until I finally upgraded to Sony Vegas 14 that gave us the active camera effect, which is an awesome effect. Also, oh, is it just me or is... I don't think I'm familiar with that. Uh, it's, uh, it's part of the new blue effect. It's like an add-on. Huh. It's a thing that, it's a, it's a thing that came with my copy of Vegas 14. Also, is it just me or is, or is uh, Mellow's voice effect different? I mean, yeah, his, his voice, his voice effect has changed a lot over the years, depending on... Yeah, over the years, like, uh, I use a the delay effect in Audacity. And I've just realized I've only got Vegas 13. Also, oh, it, it probably could work with Vegas 13. You just need the add-on. Oh! Monkey yep. dopey! You enjoyed the red effect in this episode, too. <laughs> and well, yeah, apparently it's, it's... TNT enjoyed the, the demonic voice a little yeah. too much. Okay, so and, fun... Oh, so, so, God! So off, pupilous so... eyes! So pulling off that effect I'm going to talk about, what I did was I shrank the eyes really low to like negative two eye size, then I went into TNT said and right clicked on the eye poser. That resulted in this completely irisless scholar ordeal. Yeah, you just put my eyes in the back of my head. Ah, I gotta love how I, gotta love how I peeked the microphone. <laughs> Everyone was peeking back then. And I was, uh, I, was using I, a, I was using a rock band mic back then. Also, I love doing nice evil clipping. laughs. Yeah, th you know, I, the shovel is so sharp it cuts through hats. Yeah, without actually cutting them. <laughs> yeah, well, your hat has a healing factor. Oh, Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this was the old Ape House map. Looking at everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. The lighting's different. The the overall look is different. It looks so weird now. Yeah. <laughs> oh looky, Shugo is animal. <laughs> The switch off thing yeah, seems yeah. to be Yeah, so those who, are li those who are listening closely, you can hear the Sly Cooper 1 music in the background. It's the, uh, the Miss Ruby stage. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you going the bottom right. Why me? You're the closest one to him. So it only makes sense for his best friend to watch over him. I thought I was his best friend. This is completely wrong. <laughs> you were the one who knocked him out, Star. Perhaps you should watch him. How is it wrong? You did knock me out. <laughs> well, you were possessed by a demon! Yeah. Yeah. So again, speaking with the uh, me. again speaking of the whole stop motion helper stuff, like had it would have exist, Mello would have been a lot more expressive. Because like if you go back and look at the Pest of Time, he's a lot more motion and emotive. When even though he doesn't have a mouth to work with. Well, I mean, th it helps that he now has eyelids. <laughs> yeah, but that, that but is he true. Have, he doesn't have a mouth, and like, but with stop motion helper, he's so much easier to pose and emote with. But now he's just like in this. Looking back, he's a scarecrow. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's still pretty much the same whenever I do the way uh, the way animation that I do, which I need yeah, and to also and also up. there would there would have been a walk cycle here because I can do that with stop motion helper, thank goodness. Yeah. And here's the part where the clubhouse becomes the haunted mansion demon thingy. Oh yeah, Star loved animating in this place. Oh I fuck it. There, okay, so this map had so many jump scares. And so many loud noises that it became very difficult to concentrate. And also, those jump scares screwed up the map. So, like, you take the screenshots too slow, and the entire background changes. <laughs> Western piece. I like it. I like it. Hey, that became an in joke for Mellow a good cup for a couple of years, but it has since then died down. I say bring we bring it back. it back. Yeah, we bring it back. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Mellow's gonna hate us. Who's grabbing my butt? I can't see. I can't. Yeah, if you hear Ellie in the background, he says, oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> He's grabbing his own butt. 
<laughs> and somebody, I'm not gonna make the reference. I'm not even gonna bother. And somebody's a grabbing my butt. Yes, that's the reference. Thank you, Shugo. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shugo. Thank you. Thank you, Shugo. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, smack. Uh, the old primitive mellow fire effect. <laughs> It's like three frames. This entire commentary is just gonna be us ragging on how shit the animation was. And the script, because I hate the script now. The script is better than the animation. I don't know, look, there's Ryo out of nowhere. Well, I kind of did a half-assed thing at the end, like it was a, an ass pull ending. It's called Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a mistake originally? But you no, no, I no, I decided. You know what? It's that was actually intentional. I totally decided. Wait, it's funny. Make him say, "I like it," because this is a comedy series above sure. all else. We have a lot of serious episodes, but I like to make the comedy. Yes, I mean, this was not. This was not meant to be serious, even though there's death. Spoiler. It's comical. But yeah, we're, so we're not. True. We're not supposed to be completely random. Like, uh, we have sto We put story ahead of everything else, but then we write the comedy around it, pretty much. Oh, I'm the opposite way around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But well, he does the comedy, then he writes the story around it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a mix. Yeah, it, it makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. So, it, oh yeah. So as I mentioned earlier, like the lips, more lip syncing was added in in pre and uh, post production after Ellie gave me advice. This scene right here is where most lip syncing shows up, where it originally was not there. <laughs> Yay! Okay, some of the oh jokes Garth, do I, I pity your neck. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I if I'm not mistaken, Garth added the effect when he was recording lines. I didn't add any effect whatsoever. Yeah, he added, added the demonic. The yeah. I added the effects to my voice when I was possessed as well. Oh, hey, guess who makes a debut? Heavy God. Yeah, that is. This is actually the debut of Heavy God. This is the first time he's appeared in the series. Oh, and I will see? never go away. Hmm. I forgot. Yeah. Although, then again, he had like a full head of hair. He's since then gone bald. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Dr. Hax. Yeah, and like, so yeah, the, I didn't mention it, like, the effect earlier where it shows the wrench spinning 360 degrees and then into my face, that was really easily done just with a green screen and, like, zooming in on the screenshots of me. Very yeah. easy effect, but but I, I, I liked how it looked out. I like how it turned out. Oh, look, Garth Gibbs. That is violent. No, <laughs> 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 okay, some of the effects are still uh, funny. Yeah, I remember when I was doing that, I'm like, okay, well, obviously Garth, uh, Ellie's not gonna lip-sync here, so I gotta add a joke. Oh, let's make him shake like a leaf while staying completely stiff as a board. Uh, Aku's head jittering. That was a pro- yeah, that was a problem with his own he old head. Oh! I'm here! What's up, bitch? <laughs> and then he became a reoccurring character. Well, he's- well, he's the- he's- he's the god of confirmation, of course he's gonna be watching over us. He hasn't really confirmed a lot lately, though. He- he appeared in the best of time! He didn't confirm anything, though. He- he- he confirmed in the- two for the blight of one that he was on his lunch break and leave him alone! Oh, that is true. By the way, leave him alone! That was a few months ago, though. <laughs> eh, two or three. There's always that possibility, you boo. Oh, the lighting in this it's oh the lighting is so terrible. Oh yeah, it is kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah, again again, if I made this, I would make the lighting better. I would have added the lamps, some light globes perhaps, and it would be easier to look at. Maybe we should remake some episodes and uh... Maybe we shouldn't! <laughs> yeah. Why? I mean, because they're old scripts and they're yeah, not. Yeah, really TNT with a bowl full of bacon. Okay, so that the the context behind the context that was supposed to be you watching horror movies, and I'm like, okay, you need popcorn. Oh, I can't find a m popcorn model for the life of me. I'm like, give him a bucket of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> and here's why a, a bucket of bacon. Why not bacon? bacon? Is delicious. Can't argue with that. <laughs> oh God. And again, Ryu is abused. Why is he always getting abused? Every it team has matter. Every team has to have a punching bag. Ryo is our punching bag. Cheesecake is our secondary punching bag. Screw that! 
Ryo just wants to be yeah. <laughs> okay, Shugo, you're gonna be the punching bag then. You, Shugo, don't want to be punching bag. If I Tough noodles. If I start getting more active with script writing and the animating and stuff like that, I should probably write a script where Ryo isn't getting beaten up. Oh god, so, okay, so the part where Ellie just screams out, No, I don't want to die! I figured that there would have been a joke, like a blooper, where, Why don't we sacrifice the cutest member of the team? No, I don't want to Bang! <laughs> that would have been like some, some crazy bastardization. Guys, relax. You're not thinking straight. Thinking straight is for whips. No. See, that, that is a, that's Ellie's aborted Mad Libs catchphrase, where his old catchphrase was supposed to be blank is for wimps, and it just didn't take off from there. Aww. Rest in peace. It would have been a funny catchphrase. Yeah. What would have been a funny catchphrase? Uh, blank is for wimps. He is the one responsible for this mess. Feed the squirrel to the demon. Yes, we should. You guys are me. Well, I mean, Ryo's already dead. Although, this also kind of contradicts something where we said that they only stay dead if they get dismembered. Out of the way. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess, well, when you think about it, Ryo got dismembered on the inside. I guess that is true. Oh, yeah, and okay, when and when Aku yells out, Jesus Christ, TNT, I wanted to quickly add, like, a one-second frame of your head superimposed on Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I I, I, it would have been, like, a funny freeze-frame Easter egg, like, just fucking Jesus Christ with your head superimposed over it. Ah, my screaming is so great on this. <laughs> I've actually See, never uh, I, I, in, in, my, in my defense, my ability to scream in pain has gotten a lot better, thank you. But I had never heard you scream like that before, though. Uh, you haven't heard any of my additions on CCC, have you? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, well, there's quite everybody yelling. A lot of yelling. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of serves you right for trying to feed me to the demons! Well, I heard you tasted like cotton candy, so maybe it would appease them. Also, the missing members here, I, I kind of, I didn't know what to do with them, so I was just like, yeah, they got killed off screen. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it's in true horror movie fashion. That is true. I mean, that happens in so many horror movies. Like, wait, what happened to those characters? Oh, they died off screen. In reality, the director forgot about them. That is true as well. Also, on, also, this, uh, this episode is kind of outdated uh, since the, since, um, Ash versus the, versus of, uh, what, what was it called again? As... Ash versus Ass. Evil Yes. Ash versus Evil Dead premiered. Uh and then got cancelled after three uh. seasons. But and here's the uh, also in this episode another thing debuts your cryokinetic abilities. Oh yeah. Did it? Oh yeah, it did. You freeze my corpse. When did you learn to do that? Just something out of the show. It wasn't until you got Nor'easter. When your powers fully awoke and wake and wake and wake and Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> but yeah, you know that, I have to ask, when did TNT get Nor'easter? Um, Underground Rapture 3. Uh, it's shown, oh, it's, okay. It's shown that I got it. But we yeah, okay, so talk uh, about the thing, th okay, so bit about it now since. Uh, well, bit of, well, okay. To, hmm? It happened, it happened between, uh, Twas the Night Before Smith Smith and Underground Rapture 3. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, the oh, funny thing, I, uh, the Necronomicon model is actually retextured. Originally it had a bunch of archaic writing, but it just has like a sort of etching look to it now instead. Oh, no. Which, allowed, uh, which allowed Photoshop, like this for example. <laughs> On the bottom right, it took a really friggin' long time to make, which it did. There may not be a whole lot of frames and lip sync, but it still took a really long time to make. A good couple of weeks, several hours a day. And this was in 2013, so yeah, I was still barely into college when this happened, so I had a lot of work on my plate. Yeah, hmm. but here comes the Deus Ex Machina. Hey, I mask it with good music. Yeah, but as I was saying, um, Ash vs. the... Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, had some new lure that was totally missed out on this episode because it didn't exist yet. <laughs> yeah. I love how I love, I, I, I love to abuse. I love to abuse the swoosh sound effect so much, even to this day, because it's a good sound. Yeah, just don't overuse it like Johnny Test with the oh, weapon. Oh God! God damn! Old frickin' news, TNT. Well, I mean, still don't want to overuse sound effects. Yeah. In your defense, TNT, you lampshade the whole thing of it being a major Deus Ex Machina. Oh, that is true. 
And it's funny because several times later when we see Shugo's bed, you can see the Necronomicon peeking underneath it. So that's continuity for you. You can? I did not notice that. Yeah, uh, in, uh, in Furniture Failure, um, okay, basically in any scene where you can see Shugo's bed, if you look under, you can see the Necronomicon. For example, it was in a freeze frame in Furniture Failure. And let's not forget about Key Rolls 2. Yeah, yeah, you can see the Necronomicon hiding underneath. So, yeah, continuity. Neat. And yeah, I chose the best credits music ever. Smiles and Tears, a rejected theme from Smash Bros. Brawl that was later in Smash Bros. 4. It was my idea to use it. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm drunk. Of you don't you have an excuse. Shut up, Cheesecake. Go to sleep. I'm excuse. You don't have a drunk. I should totally make a sequel to this video. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever Whatever were the plans for that. Oh, yeah, there were plans to make a sequel, but it ended up getting scrapped because I bit off more than I could chew. Yeah, TNT I, TNT, I still have all the voice lines for it. Wow, but it's super outdated now, so if anything, I should revise it if I ever go back to it. And no, I'm not making any promises, but I might eventually go back to it. No promises made, though. Mm -hmm. And here, the final shot is something that Aku made in celebration. Happy <laughs> Oh look, there's Nor'easter! <laughs> yeah, see oh, that what? was actually, a, that was a bit of foreshadowing. Nor'easter appeared, but like, oh, it didn't make a full debut until 3. I completely missed that! What is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, season 1 was the best, season 2 was full of suck! And it was, that was, it was a blank yeah. screen, cheesecake! Excuse the me, but Blank Screen and the Blank Blakers is the best show on the planet. You don't know the proper characterization, the script, the plot, the discredit chemistry, the everything Smack. else is the best thing possible, and I can't see that you don't like I wrote an episode of that show, you know. Because you're a filthy ripoff! <laughs> oh, you racist. <laughs> Excuse me, I must now go watch season four. <laughs> I will not the episodes of that season. Him. I think he exploded. Good. Star, how do you put up with that Pikachu-shaped abomination? Who says I put up with him? Yeah, if you want, if you want context, you go watch Pest of Time. Yeah, we'll be able to do a commentary on that someday, hopefully soon, because I would like to start cranking these commentaries out more often. Thank you very much. Yeah, we should do that. Who's going right, to be commentating so, the next one? We will see. So, that's the end of Necronomica Nightmare. That's the end of this video. Do you do have anything else to say related to the video? If so, please wrap it up within five minutes. <gasps> Hello to everyone who joined us recently. You already you said that. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, yes. I think Shugo. I've had a, I think I've said everything that needed to be said. All right. Okay. And with that, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next commentary, hopefully sooner than later. Bye. Bye. Bye.